What is happening, Bulls and Bears? It is Saturday, November 12th, 2022, back with another blast of economic news slash economic reality. And we've got a lot to talk about. There's a lot of things going on here. Uh, it's a little bit cooler here in California here in my neck of the woods here in San Diego. So you see me in jackets now. I actually have this studio in my garage, so I don't have the luxury of having a heated room since uh, my rooms in my home are uh, kind of occupied by family. Now, that's one of the reasons why I keep a close eye on the housing market. I've always been fascinated with real estate. I, I own real estate. I've invested in real estate. But as far as waiting for a better time to buy and waiting for home prices to come down, it's something that I'm personally keeping an eye on too because I mean, I'm keeping an eye on it obviously for this channel, but I have a personal stake in it because I'm looking to upgrade to a bigger home because my family has outgrown the home that we're in. And you know, hopefully I can rent out this home or whatever, maybe have to sell, we'll see. But I'm not gonna buy right now, that's for sure, especially with home prices as they are in San Diego. So just a quick uh, kind of background on my view of the housing market and what I'm looking for and why I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for deflation instead of a uh, bubble that gets bigger. I, I'd like to see the housing bubble go bust. So in my corner, we're hoping for higher mortgage rates uh, because higher mortgage rates means that uh, prices will come down. Um, if you're someone that doesn't have any down payment, then that's not a good thing because then you have to borrow money to buy the home and your higher mortgage rate is going to be a higher payment even with lower home prices. You know what I'm saying? So people with a down payment or a big down payment or even cash are definitely hoping for lower home prices as far as I can tell. But let's get into the news. We have a lot to talk about here. Uh, crypto collapse with this uh, exchange FTX. People woke up and their money was gone. Um, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Twitter bankruptcy rumors. And they're more than just rumors. We have uh, um, Elon Musk out there is talking about uh, possible bankruptcy. Is he just saying that? We're going to dive into that a little bit, plus a lot more news. Let's go ahead and get started right here um, with Elon Musk over at Twitter. Musk warns Twitter bankruptcy possible as senior executives exit. We also saw a mass exodus of advertisers. Um, this Here's the thing. Uh, is this for real? Is he just saying that? Because with all these layoffs, what if he's putting that out there just as a way to appease people that are being laid off? So if you get laid off and then you see that the company may go bankrupt, you're not going to be as bitter. Uh, could it be? Or... I mean, it makes sense with all these with all these advertisers exiting the platform that that could be on the table, and uh, it's real interesting what's happening over there at Twitter. Uh, multiple outlets talking about it here. Elon Musk reportedly said Twitter could file for bankruptcy next year. So please let me know what you think about that uh, down in comments. Um, it's kind of a mess over there. I don't really do a lot of posting over there. Um, just not something that I'm into uh, social media. Uh, I do it a little bit, but uh, you know, not much. I don't really have much time between doing the videos here and, and family and everything else. Now, it's been a mess. Uh, there's been reports that some of the people he fired, he wanted to call them back because he was uh, having some problems. It's amazing to me how he can run uh, so many companies, right? So uh, Tesla and Twitter. Makes you wonder you know, what's really going on there, if there's an ulterior, uh, ulterior motive out there you know, behind what's happening there with that acquisition. Also, the blue check mark thing, he's charging people now for the blue check mark. It used to be if you were verified, um, if you were someone that was semi famous or famous, you always got the blue check mark because you were verified as being the real person. But now, basically, anybody, if you pay the, if you pay the money, can go out and get the verification blue check mark. So, uh, pretty interesting. We'll have to keep an eye and see how that unfolds. Oh, also, before I go any further, you may notice a little bit of redness in my eyes, a lot of redness, actually. Um, I am not feeling too good today. Didn't get much sleep last night. Long story. Doesn't matter. I just want you to know that I'm not under the influence. Okay. All right. But let's talk about this. Um, between one and two billion dollars, this is out of CNBC, uh, of FTX customer funds have disappeared. This is a crypto exchange. A lot of customers woke up and their money was just gone. Their investments were gone. Their cryptos were gone. Um, reportedly here, there was a back door to transfer billions of dollars out of this exchange. And that's why one of the reasons why I've said hard assets, it's an insurance policy. My favorite is still silver. Have some money out of the system. 
Uh, some people trust these exchanges, these crypto exchanges, more than the banks. Uh, other people trust the big banks and, and credit unions, etc., more than the exchanges with crypto. Um, FDI insurance is true, uh, is there for you with the banks. Um, other security is there also with credit unions. Um, so some people trust more one more than the other. You know, I don't trust either one of them completely. I've traded crypto, invested in crypto, um, not a huge stake in it. So if the exchange goes down, I'm not going to be wiped out. So that's why you hear a lot of people talk about diversify, have uh, have hard assets, have assets out of the system, uh, whether it's cash or precious metals, something out of the system. And this is a uh, great example of it. So a lot of people woke up to their funds being gone, their uh, their wealth, um, whatever it was worth, you know, in crypto. And, uh, you know, somebody's going to get in trouble here, but will the people get their money back? Uh, that's the big question out there that a lot of people are asking, and especially the people that woke up and saw their, you know, values at zero in this particular uh, exchange, you know, FTX. So uh, pretty amazing that that could happen. But, uh, you know, everything has risk, right? Even if you keep money at home under the mattress in a safe, the house could burn down. Somebody could come in and steal the safe. There's risk in no matter what you do. That's why you hear people like myself and other people out there that uh, you hear us say things like this is not investment advice. And it's precisely because of stuff like this. He's People lost, uh, people lost a lot of money. And uh, it's not just this here with FTX and this exchange going down. It's also uh, just people getting their money just taken. Like uh, I read a report here, a business owner got a million dollars with the crypto, just wiped out of his account. I believe it was Coinbase. Coinbase is looking into it. Uh, there's no FDIC insurance. Uh, will this person get his money back? And uh, it's pretty, pretty scary out there. You know, what could happen, how money can just be swiped. But that's what you have. When you have a banking system and wealth, uh, quote unquote wealth, that's based on digits on a screen somewhere. Um, as easily as someone types in these digits, they can get taken away. They can get uh, they can get hacked. Uh, other things can happen too. Glitches could happen. What if a glitch happens and you have no way to prove you had the money in there? You didn't print out the the statements. And even if you did print out the statements, would the exchange you know take those statements and, and give you your money back if something happens so i'm saying so there's a lot of risk everywhere you go everywhere you look and um it's just amazing you know what's uh what's happening with the disappearance of wealth not only are people losing money in the markets for the most part now you have just money being uh di money disappearing and that's going to cause more panic throughout the uh sector here with cryptos and i think we're going to see even lower uh prices in cryptos uh, going forward and who know who knows what's going to happen there could be regulations that come out that say that all cryptos are illegal right so when you have people controlling um, the monetary system and putting it out there what's legal what's not legal anything's on the table they could completely make it illegal now could they come and get your funds uh, from you uh, if they make it illegal well probably not but if they make it illegal how much lower a price is going to crash and even if they can't come and take it from you because it's in the digital world uh, is it going to be worth anything once it's made illegal i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just saying that does anyone have a guarantee that they're not going to pass some crazy law uh, right i don't think anybody does all right so let's transition a little bit here's an article here out of money wise Suze orman someone that i don't talk about very much i'm not really into her method of um, of financial advice so to speak um, she gets phone calls from people and they say, Hey, can I take a vacation? I've got this much money in savings, blah, blah, blah. Not really my cup of tea, but she is someone that's highly, um, I guess, highly respected, uh, amongst a lot of people. And she's someone that is in the, uh, the financial realm. The only people, this is a quote, the only people that are going to save us is us. The only people that are going to save us is us. I actually agree with what she says here. Um, social security is in trouble. Social security is in trouble. So how many people are dependent on the lifeline of, of social security? And yes, you paid into it and you're going to get that money back and maybe more than what you paid in, depending on how long you live. Uh, but is the money there? Do you really think they've got a vault somewhere with uh, gold and silver or a bunch of uh, paper money or coins uh, with that money? No, it's just digital uh, currency that supposedly is there for payouts. Uh, but is it really there? Um, just like these people woke up and their money was taken out of their um, their um, 
crypto accounts. Uh, was the money there to begin with or was it just digits that can just disappear? There's been a debate um, whether there's been a debate about is the money there, is it not there? Um, I'll let you figure that one out. I don't think it's there. I think there might be some digits on the screen somewhere. Is it real money? No. That's why it's continue to accumulate silver. Uh, one, because it's it's safe for the most part, unless you get your house broken into. There we go again. But um, not just that, because the next monetary system that's going to replace this fiat uh, failed system is going to be a metals back system. I don't think they're going to be able to usher in this uh, global digital digital central bank currency. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to try to push that on the populations, but I don't think it's going to work because it's way too invasive. And, um, you know, hopefully I'm right. I could be doomish and gloomish and say they're going to go completely towards this digital currency and that's going to be the new normal. Uh, is it possible? Absolutely. But I don't think it's going to go that way. I think there's going to be a push to go that direction. But ultimately, real money, real assets are going to come back in after the financial Armageddon plays out, uh, fully plays out. It could take months, could take years. Uh, but I think ultimately that's where we're at. That's why I continue, uh, continue to keep stacking, uh, in this case, silver and precious metals. Thanks, everybody, for being here. We're going to wrap it up here. Have a good rest of the weekend. I may not be here tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better tomorrow. I may not look as bad. Um, if I do feel better, I might be back for another update. Hope to see you then. Bye for now. Keep stacking in peace. Bye now.